Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, it seems that it's a very complicated thing. For those of you that are using the media creation tool to download the latest image of Windows 11, which is 23H2, you got to forget it for a couple of weeks. So someone at Microsoft came out and said that there is some kind of package size optimization that has to be done, whatever that means, and that basically do not download Windows 11 through this tool because you will have 22H2. So at least a couple of weeks, um, the uh, Microsoft employee that came back said around November 15th. So if you were waiting for a special version that comes through this, uh, a couple of weeks apparently. So uh, this is kind of funny and kind of weird. But, uh, you know, it's Microsoft. Always something has to be bizarre. And uh, basically, if you want to have Windows 11 23H2, the only way, and this is what I used, is to use the disk image option at the bottom of the page here that I will share once again. A lot of people are asking me, I don't know where to download Windows 11. Uh, image. Well, I'll share it again. So uh, the link will be in the description below. But this is the only way that you get an image with 23H2 that you can install. Um, somebody said that even using Rufus, they couldn't have a boot drive with their PC. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to boot your PC with uh, the, the thumb drive if you use Rufus or whatever. You can just plug the a thumb drive, and you'll see that on the file system, when the thumb drive shows up in, in File Explorer, there's a setup. You just click Setup and let it um, install Windows 11, um, if you have 22H2 right now, for example, uh, through uh, that setup, and you can keep their files and their apps. It's just going to keep all of that. Or you can erase everything and have a clean install, like I did. And of course, if you're on Windows 10, if you're on unsupported hardware, well, I did show you that you can put a little check mark that says, hey, just remove all the TPM and all the minimum requirement check. You will be able to move on. My Toshiba is more than 10 years old, and it's running Windows 11 23H2 just fine. So for the next few weeks, the only way to really get an image of Windows 11 with 23H2 is to download the image directly at the bottom here of this page. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.